All right, guys, so how's it going? So I'm down here at Liberty Cycles again, and I am bringing you two Razors. So we got the Razor Turbo. This is just the uh, regular Turbo XP. It's not the S model. And I just finished driving both these machines, and let me tell you, awesome, awesome, awesome. So if you guys are actually thinking about getting one or looking into it, these are on the high end, so it's about as big and as bad as you can get. Um, it's got fully adjustable uh, suspension all around. Uh, it's got the Walker Racing suspension on it. It's got over 14 inches of ground clearance. Uh, I think it's got 168 horsepower in this bad boy. So uh, from what I've read, it's running about 14 pounds of boost stock. So that's actually not too, too bad. It's got four-wheel disc brakes. Um, so it's got plenty of stopping power. Automatic transmission with high and low ranges. Does not come with a trailer hitch, so it's not really uh, something you use for your utility, I guess. But uh, it's got some room in the back to store some stuff. You got your little hatch right here to uh, uh, check your uh, oil or uh, your air box. I mean, uh, you can add your oil right there. I meant uh, you got two cylinders in this thing. It's a twin cylinder, 168 horsepower. It's 925 cc's in this bad boy here. So with that 14 pounds of boost, it moves along really, really well. So uh, one thing that's pretty cool, I was noticing, it's got the frog skin covered for your air intakes. You got dual intakes on it. It's got one right here, one on the other side. It's got the frog skin there. It says it right there. So it helps repair water like a rain sock. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's got LED lighting all around, front and rear, which is pretty sweet. We can actually cut those on. I'll show you guys. So love the blue on this thing. It's pretty sweet. Let's see, we'll go ahead and start this bad boy. You actually got to put your foot on the brake to start it. Let's see here. Just cut the lights on. There we go. As you can see, LED lights. A whole lot brighter if it was actually uh, nighttime. Check these out. There you go. It's got like the HID look, you know, with all the different little eyeballs in there. So really bright, plenty. There's plenty of areas to add some other lights to if you need to. So it's really cool. Let's hear the bad boy start up. How about that? Like I said, that, that twin cylinder sounds always pretty cool. So we're sitting in here now. So you gotta put your foot on the brake and then you can start it and make sure it's in park, obviously. All right, it's pretty cool. So the gauge, gauge pod has your miles per hour. Uh, it tells you what gears you're in, what bolts you're running. Uh, RPMs and plus you got a regular RPM gauge right here. You got your miles per hour over here But you can also look at it digital in here it Tells you what drive range you're in whether a four-wheel drive or a two-wheel drive clock you Got your engine Hours that one there is 1.3 hours on it Let's see. It's Engine temperature uh, odometer there you got 1.6 miles on it trip one you can hold it down to reset it's got options unit miles per hour you can put on there so, change the kilometers all that so uh, this is where you select your four-wheel drive two-wheel drive uh, i got a little glove compartment right here uh, on the actual winch installed model your winch controller will be in here comes with one got your 12 volt accessory outlet right here got a little oh crap handle there to hang on to got two cup holders there and one thing i thought was pretty cool is they actually put little drains in the bottom where you can actually drain your floor pans when you wash them out it's pretty cool all made out of good plastic real tough got where you can uh, adjust your seat back and forth uh, it's also got an adjuster on the steering wheel so you can adjust it up or down depending on your preference how you want it power steering on this thing works great it's kind of like just like a little car uh, works pretty good it's pretty smooth get your regular pedals like a car so go ahead and cut her off okay all right oh very awesome very powerful uh let's see here it's got the dual threat pro armor tires it uh, looks like they're pretty good for all around terrain you know 
Uh, so you can, if you have to cross a highway or you're in a trail place where you got some asphalt, it's not going to really kill them too, too bad. It's not too bad. Like I was saying, it's got 14 inches of ground clearance on this model. They actually have an S model as well that has 16 inches of ground clearance. And I believe it's 72 inches wide. This one here is like 64 inches wide. So, uh, pretty cool though. Uh, so this one here is coming in right around $21,000 for the turbo model. And, uh, so it's actually a little bit cheaper than the next one we're going to look at, the high lifter. So, uh, yeah, pretty awesome machine. It's got a uh, four way disc brakes on it. Uh, so it's got plenty of stopping power and the massive shocks on this thing. So the, these are actually designed to take one hell of a jump and land. It's got the sway bars there. They're pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, so this is the uh, 2019 Razor Turbo. All right. All right, guys. So hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or need me to uh, check out anything for you, I know not everyone's close to... Uh, dealerships uh, like for example here in the uh, Pinesville Savannah area this is the only Polaris dealership in the vicinity so you know like I said I know a lot of people aren't near a lot of dealerships so that's kind of why I do this plus I enjoy checking out these machines and the dealerships let me mess with them and drive them around so how awesome is that and uh, so once again it's here at Liberty Cycle Pinesville Georgia near Fort Stewart and uh, only about a 35 minute ride from Savannah so it's not too bad, and as you can see, got plenty of toys out here. Got a lot of Rangers, and I will be doing a uh, a review on one of those as well. He's got quite a few of them here, and uh, look forward to uh, talking to you guys soon. I'm gonna do another uh, review on the actual High Lifter Razor here pretty soon. All right, have a good one, guys. Subscribe and like.